What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It is time for What the Fitness. What the f And this week we have a fellow named Thomas Rindina 369. 369 Chef Nine. Second one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. Sorry, I probably got those lyrics all wrong. In fact, I think some of those things I said weren't even words. So if you guys know the lyrics to that song, just drop them down there so I don't mess it up again. I'd appreciate it. Let's see what uh, Mr. Gitlow has to say about Gatorade killing us. Why would Gatorade do that? I like it. You guys know this by now. Athletes don't drink this stuff. Like when I see the NFL and I see them <laughs> with actual Gatorade, the bottle of Gatorade, what do you, what do you say? They didn't actually put Gatorade in there. They just put some food coloring to make it look like Gatorade? Uh, okay. 21 grams of sugar in it. So he says it's 21 grams of sugar. Meanwhile, he's pouring a Gatorade Zero into a cup. Do, you do realize the difference, right? Like there's actually no sugar in that. I know this is hard to understand, but 21 is a different unit than zero. No way. Today I'm gonna show you yes, why that is with a couple simple tests here. A simple test that I feel like will involve some sort of color change. Boom. And we'll do dishonest. I mean, Dasani. <gasps> dishonest. Check this stuff out. Okay, if he's putting water and he's making a disparaging remark about water, I have not watched this video, by the way. But I'm guessing something about alkaline is coming. Let's see. Brian, start the countdown. Let's see if there's alkaline in here. Oh, do a simple pH test here. I, it didn't even take like five seconds. Man, I'm tired of being right. No, I'm Okay, you know, the pool guy uses. Checks the acidity level of your pool, make sure there's no allergies, all that. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> Straight acid in your body. Can you oh. believe this stuff? There's the thing he's using to detect color change, basically, if it's even slightly acidic, it will change color. So water can be slightly acidic. Typically the pH is around seven, which is neutral, but depending on the water, it can be slightly acidic. Not a big deal, by the way, but we'll get there. But, oh. The Gatorade, oh! Selling it to you, overpriced. Check this out. Change your water. Oh. Oh, wow. Goes into an alkalized state. Oh, an alkalized state. Wow. State. But if you're drinking the wrong stuff, it never changes it. Says the person who's never had basic chemistry class, I assure you. So I don't know if this guy realizes that different compartments in our bodies have differing levels of acidity. When you drink water or Gatorade or whatever it is, it goes down your esophagus and empties into this thing called your stomach. Within your stomach, there is six molar hydrochloric acid. The acid in diet drinks or, or Gatorade or whatever, the acid in those is very, very weak. Six molar hydrochloric acid, if you stuck your hand in there, would not feel very nice, okay? Six molar hydrochloric acid in the lab, if you unscrew the top of it and you sniff it, it will like <laughs> choke up your lungs, okay? So six molar hydrochloric acid, very, very concentrated. Your stomach is around a pH of anywhere from one to three. That is extremely acidic. Now keep in mind, pH operates on a log scale. So just going down one is not just one, it's actually a, a factor of 10. Being at a pH of seven versus a pH of one is like hundreds of times more acidic, all right? So you're telling me that this weak acid that goes through your stomach, literally exposed to some of the most concentrated acid in your body, that that's actually changing your blood pH. Because in your stomach, the food you eat and the liquid you drink gets churned up into what's called chyme. And all that shit empties out into your duodenum. What comes out into your duodenum is acidic. If you could change the pH of your blood the way this moron is changing the pH of water and Gatorade, you would just die. Your blood needs to be within a very narrow range of pH. Very, very narrow. If it changes, it's not like, oh, you don't lose weight or oh, you have these diseases or oh, no, no, you just fucking die. You just die. And that goes for going acidic and for going alkaline. If you go a little bit too alkaline, you die. <laughs> Fortunately, our body doesn't just let shit 
across the intestinal lumen than is supposed to be there. So now, if you consume more acidic based foods or more basic foods, like pumpkin spice and fall, am I right? You can change the pH of your urine, which these folks will use to say, aha, see your urine's acidic and we changed it to basic. Who gives a shit? The reason your urine pH changes is because your blood pH doesn't fucking change. And in fact, there are studies, not that we actually need a study on this because anyone who's had basic physiology knows this stuff, but we have studies to show that alkaline diets don't really do shit. Now, if you look at the foods they recommend, of course, it's like vegetables and like all these healthy foods. And then if you lose weight, they're like, see man, got alkaline, see, got alkalized, Dr. CB man. Dr. CB is a fucking fraud, all right? That's the guy who popularized this alkaline diet. It looks like he's a DYEL, doesn't lift, skinny as fuck, and what I believe got convicted of fraud. Imagine that. Now, he won a court case in the United States that people used to say, see, see, he fought the industry and won. He didn't win. The court ruled in his favor when he claimed that he wasn't giving medical advice. That's what he won. Not that his advice was fucking accurate. Because it's not, because he's an idiot, because he's not a real fucking doctor, he's a fraud. I look forward to the comments on this one because I'm sure there's not gonna be any alkaline idiots in the comments telling me how wrong I am and Dr. C be such a nice person. You should be nice to him. Fuck no. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to the channel and we'll do more fuckery next week.